Hey! Good afternoon, people. What is going on? It is Monday. It is already 6.30 tonight. The day has just slipped away. Uh, we did, oh, do you let you see that? We did a, we did a little beard deleting uh, before that. Unlike the grass. Unlike the grass. The grass has still not been deleted, and it is bad. Hey, while I'm out here, quick thing. A lot of people have been asking about the bike. A lot of people. Go to the first page of videos. There's a whole review about this bike. This used to be my bike uh, back when I used to work for a powder coater on the side. Pretty much took a completely stock brake out, blacked it out completely. Everything that was done, uh, we did, of course, because because wrench works, obviously. But uh, this is now my brother's bike, Andy's, whose white mega cab that you would see over there, but it's not over there now. He took that to the gym to go pump some iron again. But uh, Breakout is his, was mine. Uh, I, Me and a couple other uh, guys did all of the work. Uh, Harley actually did some of the motor work, but as far as the powder coating work uh, and transforming the way it looks, that was all all me. So, But it's now Andy's bike. So go find that video. It's a, I went over pretty much every mod that we did on the bike. So it's pretty cool. I love this bike, honestly. Uh, I sold it to him uh, because interests were just shifting. I had a Razor at the time too, and I really just kind of wanted to push a little more towards truck projects, so I got rid of some of the other toys. But uh, we have the wife wagon here, uh, which is, I, I, I was driving around today and I was like, what can, I don't want to call it the mom mobile, but I was like, wife wagon actually works. So we got the wife wagon. We need to change the oil in that because that is slightly overdue because because obviously it's the wife's vehicle, but it's not, it's not bad. I'm just, it's not that bad. It was, it's like, it's like a hundred miles overdue. But anyway, uh, if you can see over there, over in the yonder, we need to tape up a box to get some parts for the first gen shipped out. Everything's pretty much gone off that thing. So this thing is about to be craned on the trailer and got the heck out of here because it's just taking up space. We need the boat, the boat needs to be there. That's where the boat needs to be. I really wanted to start taking apart the 05 today. Um, but seeing that it's almost seven o'clock already, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know where this video is going and what we're going to be doing. But here goes nothing. We're gonna we're gonna start with taping up a box. How's that? disaster that you just watched in fast forward was me trying to package the motor mounts with some decent packing material not that i think the motor mounts would ever get messed up but you know these boxes you never know and no offense to your local postage uh, ups man but you know tends to, things tend to get tossed around quite a bit so we're just trying to do everything we can and hence i'll probably use this whole entire roll and, and by the way gorilla packing tape my gosh, is that stuff good. But that's the, we're, we're going to try and get this so it doesn't blow apart and tape the ever-living crap out of it. So there you go. Motor mount's gone. Hey. You stole my tape. I stole your tape. Sorry. There's more tape up there. Oh, I'm getting the window shut on me. All right, well, now that we stole Allie's tape, and like I said, I am literally taping this entire thing up. Like this this, this $20 roll of tape right here, because we need to make sure that, oh boy, that's a heavy one. Oh yeah. We need to make sure, you know, things gotta arrive in one piece. Here's what you gotta do. Here's, here is the ultimate test right here. You gotta give it the old shake test. Oh yeah, that feels solid. Nothing clanking. If you hear clanking, that's not a good sign. We passed the clank test. And the rest of this is now garbage. I know you guys are sad, but we did also replace a blinker in the Ranger. I know that could have been some good content you guys would have wanted to see, but uh, we did 3157 for anybody wondering. 3157 bulbs. There you go.
So we managed to not make a complete entire mess on the driveway. Not that it matters because we got old leaky over there, but I know on this V6 3.6 liters of raw power, got these lovely canister filters here. But overall, this is a 2015 Grand Cherokee. I probably have been over this thing a little bit here, but got her debadged. Comes with all the nice black, you know, accents because you know the white's got to be right. I mean. But the wife's got to be riding in style. I mean, we just can't have that. So, you know, we, we did some Greg A deleting on the badges. Everything pretty much comes blacked out. Got her windows all tinted pretty dark, which she hates, by the way, because she can't see stuff, which, I mean, come on. It's the coolest thing going. Of course you want that. But, but I have been trying to get her convinced to get a track hawk or a trail hawk. What's it called? Track hawk. I can't remember, I can't remember. Le like this video right now if you think the wife should be rocking a Jeep with a Hellcat motor because that is there is nothing cooler a wife wagon with a Hellcat motor in it. In a wife wagon. Hellcat motor, wife wagon. I mean, come on, that's, that's a no brainer. I'm telling you right now, if we got a Jeep with a Hellcat motor on this channel, that would be, whoo. I would be tearing that thing apart just like, yeah, that, 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 that would be. So like this video, leave a comment down below because I know Allie reads some comments sometimes too. Leave a comment and a like and like this video if you think Allie should be rocking the Trackhawk. I think it's called the Trackhawk. Biggest gripe about this Jeep right here besides the fact that it doesn't have tons and tons of power, is this year, um, this blackout package was based on the Laredo uh, model, I believe, which is a lower base model. So I think it's usually right here, right here. Maybe it's down there. This model, for some reason, when you have two drivers, does not have any memory settings for two drivers, which honestly, seeing that we both drive it a lot, is the biggest pain in the butt. Other than that, you know, the 17-speed transmissions they put in these things make up for the lack of power that the motor has. So overall, you know, it looks great. You know, it's a wife wagon. Also guys, I just wanna mention, I am getting quite a bit of comments, of course, after we started doing some side work uh, about people getting some work done. So if you have some side work and a truck that you possibly might wanna see featured on the channel and getting some work done, uh, the best thing is my email is down below. That is a business only email. If you have some truck that you need to get parts for or want some work done uh, by me, hit me an email below um, and we'll see what we can work out. Now, I will say this, listen up, listen up. It's gonna be seldom, it's gonna be few and far between. My schedule is only gonna allow so much work. It's not gonna be a whole lot. So I, I do unfortunately have to pick and choose what we are gonna be doing, um, but send me an email down below. Um, it, it's not gonna be the fastest. Um, I'm probably gonna need your truck a little bit longer and it's definitely not gonna be, you know, here's a couple bucks to do it, so. She had to take the car and leave. Don't worry, we put oil in it. Cause it's ladies night and the feel is right. I don't know if I sang that right, but that's two videos in a row I sang for you guys. Let's get some credit. Hopefully I put the drain plug back in. There goes the wife wagon.
Big Daddy's expert bee murderer. Dude, this thing is like two inches long. Look at this thing. Zoom on, zoom on. I can't zoom hard enough. Holy sh! Oh my God, dude, this tail. I can't, I can't zoom anymore. I can't pull over any further, oh, officer. Oh, 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 Sorry, pulled over. You can't pull over anymore. Away from the land again. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? Blood. I'm gonna whack him and stop him. Dude. It's the only way. Oh, I, I gotta get out of here. You guys can't even see this. I can't be in here. I'm out. I'm out. He landed. Where's he at? Is that like a mama? Is that like. Is that what lays the nest? Oh, dude, that was in there. Oh, no. We gotta wait for him to come out. Oh, no. Andy the Savage right now. This thing is legit. I don't hear him buzzing anymore. She's curling up. Watch this. <laughs> He's got the air hose. He's got the air hose. Two hours later. Flip her on her backside. Oh yeah. Look Is that the mama? Is that what makes the nest? I don't know. I'm not, not a bee anatomy. <laughs> I don't think that's a word. <laughs> Holy the wingspan crap. though, dude. That's a solid. It's a solid two-inch wingspan. The camera still doesn't even do it justice. Huh? Man, that thing's huge. Yeah, that's a big boy or girl. Who knows? Trusty Dusty Harley Davidson hat always, always good for a whack job. Later. Anybody that knows Greg, holy smokes, that is not. We all we're trying to do is is take apart a blown up truck, and now now we got Muscle Man Randy Savage in the back. How much for me to eat it? No, not uh, happening. Put it Get in the comments out of here. below. No, comment below. No, yeah, I'll well, save what it. are we gonna save it for tomorrow's I'll video? I'll save it. No, I'll put it outside. Marinated in a protein shake. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right, so I was just going to time lapse this whole entire thing. I don't think my camera even caught the intercooler coming out, but we're just trying to get a little bit of, you know, every little bit helps, guys. Even if you're just going to take apart a couple things every single night, it's still better than sitting on the couch not doing anything. It makes it a lot less overwhelming to do a little bit at a time, even if you get distracted by bees, to do a little bit over time rather than sit on your butt. So get off your butt, go work on your shit. As hot as it may be inside the shop with all the lights, we now need to protect ourselves because there's people out there trying to get us. guys here we are a couple hours later what time is it it is almost 11 o'clock so may not look like much progress but probably been sitting here for at least 45 minutes just staring at it like what the heck man we had big dreams for this year we had big dreams all the parts but that is not gonna get us down. We are gonna get back up. We are gonna be better than that. So that is gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will get this beast back together. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe. See you guys tomorrow.